So this is what this is what we are doing is we are just uninstalling the one of the SAP system here to get the some space and also and also we will get the so chance to build the new system using the existing backup. So yesterday we have done exports, we have done it, right? This exports we have done it yesterday. So all the tables and everything got exported to the what file system level, it got exported, all the configuration tables and so all those things, STR files and so the external ETT, ext files all are created here in the export file here. Using this one, we are going to build the new system, system copy. We are going to build the new system here. That is what we are going to do for this one. So we have, I'm going to uninstall the one system here. Sir, so there is a uninstall, you have just clicked that, but we did not even select that particular SID. How, no, you will how select, can we know? Now we will select it, just wait. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So now you have to select the profile. So you will get the what profile, what system, what SID you are going to do that one. Just select that one. Then uh, it will take it to the next step here. Even we are not past that step here, it will come. See here, here, what SID you are going to do here. So suppose like NWZ, we are going to uninstall, right? Just select that one. Just click on the next button. So then oh, uh, all the SID. So in the SID, we have the two instances, all the two instances of ACS and application server both, we are going to uninstall it here. So that one we are going to uninstall it here. <clears throat> Okay. So you want to remove the database part also. So if you select it, DB also, the SID will be removed. So it will take time. That's why I will manually remove the database related things here. So otherwise, if, the, if, we, if I ask system to do that one, it will take some time. It will take some time to do that one. So that's why I'm just allowing. So I will do it myself. So manually, I can go to the studio. I can do that one. Just click on the next button. See here. So it will be doing it is doing the uninstallation here so it is doing the uninstallation here so now what i can do i can meanwhile i can open the studio studio i can open it here here i will go with the So databases, this one. Okay, that is done. <clears throat> so it's removing the all the directories and everything here. Uninstallation means it will remove everything. It will remove the everything from the system here. It will remove the everything from the system here. All the directories under the USR SAP. So everything will get removed here. Will get removed here. Right, so database I have manually done it here. Now it's removing the directories. So it's like NWZ. So it's removing the all the directories here.
so at the image level we have to do it manually deleting not those record. files not required you can it's deleting right oh. remove the instant yeah. directories so it's deleting <laughs> so what i am doing i have additional folders are there those things i have deleted it's less are there those things i have deleted here but see, see here it's okay. removing the instance directories it's deleting automatically in database also it will remove automatically yeah in database if you select the database remove the database part it will delete it for database right it will take some few minutes few minutes it will take it out maybe maximum 30 minutes also it will take to delete it here so why we so that's why i manually done it here so now see simply it's completed now it's completed now simply in, in a fraction of second minutes maybe it's completed nwd sid nwd nwz is created done if you have the database is there, it will take one few, 10 more minutes, but I have manually done it. So it's done, right? An installation is done now. So now we are good to, we are good to build the new system by copy of the existing system here, right? So let's start that now here. Why? Because no space, we can build it without canceling. So is it mandatory to is it mandatory to uh, delete the existing system? It's not required in the real time. So why? Because in the real time, we are we are creating the new system. We are just to not disturbing the existing system. So here, in our case, existing system is that that one is not required here. That SID is not required. Just for to do, we will get the some space right for that one. For that one i have manually deleted that one so we have now free space now we can go to the here go to here go to swpm now execute the swpm here maybe because yesterday we have done the exports right now we are doing the import option here maybe i will separate it that uninstallation 